She is a senior designer uh, at, and illustrator at Hallmark Cards, and we're so glad that she is here with us, spending some time and giving some insight on what goes on behind the scenes. Please welcome Kelly Bloxham Riss, who is here. Good to have you with us. So, a few good eggs. Huh? You get eggs. Don't spoil the whole bunch. No, that's apples. <laughs> One bad apple doesn't spoil the bunch. How did you come up with this idea? You designed it, right? So, yes, I designed it. Um, so, as a child, I always loved Easter. Um, I loved the chocolate, the Easter egg hunt, the whole thing with it. Sure. And when I was given this project, it's an eight-card collection. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, my this, goodness. So, this was a card I designed when I was probably, like, 11. Uh, I no. got real creative with the dog and ears, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but so when I was working on this project, I really wanted something that kind of captured that childhood joy that Easter morning brings to mm -hmm. kids. And so I brainstormed. I came up with some ideas. I wanted it to be sweet and cute and funny. And in a workshop I had done, I had doodle a face on an egg. And I thought, oh, that might be really cool to put these little egg characters in different spring scenes. Sure. Well, how did you take this idea from paper actually make it come to life? So, um, it's quite the process. Okay. <laughs> we have a huge team at Hallmark, so um, I really relied on a lot of my team. The way we kind of first started was we brainstormed with my writers and my art director, and we came up with probably like 30 different spring scene ideas. There were a lot of puns thrown around about I can egg. help with that. Yeah. I can help with that. <laughs> I'm known for those sorts of things around these parts. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go ahead, sir. Well, how did you come up with the idea for uh, each uh, card that, uh, the card eggs? Because these are really enchanting. Right. What? So when you see over there, like, um, we work really closely with the writers. So mm -hmm. that one over there says, you're one in a dozen. And we're like, how can we make that one stand out? And um, so we just sat and kind of brainstormed. Mm -hmm. And then what happened was I took all my sketches, I sketched it all out, and then I took it to our um, photo studio over at Hallmark. And they kind of help with their props and styling bring it to life. Wow. So, all right, from there you take it and it just, does the writing happen before? What comes first, the chicken or the egg? So, in we, this case? on this case, we kind of did it in, in the same time. Okay. So, I would say, hey, I really want this guy with an umbrella and it's raining. And they would kind of come up with copy. Up with okay. And then other times, like they said, they're um, the chick chat one. We kind of came up with the idea mm -hmm. after the writing. Nice. So, how did you come up with that, that scene for the, a few good eggs? I like that. Yeah. yeah. How did you? <laughs> um, I think it was just kind of brainstorming and yep. kind of, you know, with the writers. So, Could you show us how you do that, how you put this together? Sure, I can. So the way we kind of created these eggs was they're made from these wooden eggs, and these are great because they um, stand. And they don't break. And they don't break. They don't break. Really good. Um, and so then I kind of started one. I'll show you how I did it. But um, I hot glued the ears and the feet on. Okay. And then you put the nose. And you just freehand the ears and the feet, you know, that's nothing fancy like a Right. Down yeah, you can just, like um, well, what we do have is, for, for younger kids at home, if you want to recreate this, we have free printable downloads online at Hallmark, and you can see over here, mm. your kids can color in the lines and cut it out. But so you for, just download the paper, then cut things out and right. create the scene for them, let them color. Oh, that's nice. What kind of paint are you using here? So it's just, cra some of it's craft. acrylic and craft paint. You can totally mm -hmm. use anything at a craft store. So okay. the way we'll do this is then we then draw the eyes on them. Can I ask you, would you suggest to do it on a hard-boiled egg, or should you use the wooden ones? Um, I think the wooden ones are a little bit nicer just because if you are going to display them, they stand up by themselves. Hmm. I wonder uh, if people watching know how difficult it is to do this upside down. Because you're doing yeah. it. You're actually doing it but, for them at, at home. It's perfect. Look how nice. cute it is. Cute. So, um... Yeah, and then I guess the next year, if you wanted to, you could just paint the egg over again with white and then right. start with a clean slate. Or, I mean, you might want to save the one and yeah. put it out again. <laughs> yeah, I would, you know, at one point want to give him maybe a few more whiskers the older he gets. Sure. Because that's part of it. I love this little, how do we finish yeah, off? Yeah, we finish up the little created, garden. Yeah. That is scene. so cute. So this is a set from one of the cards we did, and we'll put him in it. And then... And as you can see, we did two extra uh, Easter eggs, one of Christina oh my and one Did I get? Oh, look at there. No. That is the cutest. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. I love my jewelry. See, look at it. Yes. Doesn't look like I have a hairpiece, does it? Does <laughs> and it? I love my jewelry. That was <laughs> so cute. 
Carol. You are blinged out. Ken, thank oh you so much. Goodness. Yeah, thank you. Really I'm very cute. interested in that thank process you. and how you pull it all together. If you'd like to pick up these Easter cards and head to your, you can head over to your local Hallmark Gold Crown store. And for more inspirational ideas, please visit the following blog. It is thinkmakeshareblog.com. There at the bottom those of your screen. Look at those cards. Yeah. We're coming back and we've got the unlikely duo of Dan and Paige. <laughs> That's right. Come on back. We'll show you the art. And the science of geodes because we rock. Yes.